SBs. Guys, uh, the last few days have uh, not not been ideal. Now, as some of you might already know, if you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, you should probably go ahead and go do that just to be safe. I am currently in Los Angeles. That's right. I am in the city of angels for what is supposed to be a nice relaxing getaway from the absolutely unbearable summer down in the south. However, so far, that's not exactly what it's been. I got here two days ago, and since my arrival, I've done nothing but sit in my hotel room waiting for a call from the airport. This is is because two days ago my luggage got lost. Except it didn't really get lost, it actually just never left the airport I left from. My original flight ended up getting cancelled because of weather so I got switched to a different flight on a different airline and after the departure time, the gate and the terminal was changed about seven times, I finally was able to get on a plane six hours after I was originally supposed to. What didn't get on the plane however was my luggage because I guess it's too hard to communicate to people who are in the same building as you. I got a notification before getting on the plane that my baggage was delivered to a baggage claim. I called Delta Support and they said that yeah, it was in LA already, it somehow got there before me. Which I should have known doesn't doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But thinking that the support team at Delta would know what's going on at Delta, I know rookie mistake, I got on the plane anyways. Got to LA and they said yeah, no, it's, uh, it's still at the airport you just came from. So after going back and forth between terminals, I was finally able to file a claim with American since that's the airline I ended up on. And they told me my bag would be delivered the next morning. Well, I got on a plane at four o'clock in the morning and I never heard a call. I never heard anything from them. So I just waited and waited and waited. And well, my bag never showed up. So this morning I said, I'm done waiting. I took an Uber to the airport and my bag was just sitting there at the service office. I guess because making an eight minute walk across an airport to go claim a bag that you lost is above the pay grade of a baggage claim officer. So I got the bag myself and then two days and three $50 Uber rides later, I now have luggage. Woohoo. All of this is to say uh, my mood could use a little bit of brightening. So you guys know what that means on this channel. It's cooking with Jack time, baby. Dolus pizza. That's what we got ahead of us today, boys and girls. A few people sent me this and I watched a little bit of it and uh, yeah, it, it looks like a doozy. So I'll stop complaining about luggage and start complaining about cooking. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Hey guys, it's another recipe. Today's story is interesting. This recipe is not mine. It's my friend's. He gave it to me over a year ago when it was heavy in keto. He called it the doughless pizza. The dough is interesting. We're gonna try it out and we're gonna have pizza for dinner tonight. I'd like to stop here for a moment and give you guys a few guesses on what we might be replacing the dough with today. Since traditional pizza dough is just so terrible for you and we're replacing it, you'd think that we'd be shooting for something healthier, right? Right? Yeah, <laughs> that was your first mistake. Shredded mozzarella. Shredded Parmesan, got some garlic, some pepper, pepperonis, the sausage, mushroom, ham, pepper, eggs, cream cheese, sauce. It looks like a lot, but you know what? I read this recipe and it's super easy. Okay guys, first spray your pan with nonstick spray. Take your cream cheese in a bowl, add in your seasoning. So around this point, you might be thinking, uh, why do we have cream cheese? We're making a we're making a pizza, right? Where does this fit in? Well, I'm not sure if you remember, but this is a doughless pizza. You know, we're taking away the one thing that separates pizza from being nothing but just sauce and cheese. And in true cooking with Jack fashion, why would we have dough when we could just, you know, add more cheese? Garlic and pepper. Add in your eggs, and then add in your cheese, your Parmesan. Throw that in. Now give that a good mix until combined. Okay, our batter looks a little runny for the crust, but you know what? We've gone according to the recipe. You're looking at a double batch. So let's see if we can bake up this crust and make it firm. Yeah, this is, uh, this is our crust. This is our dough. Eggs, cream cheese, and cheese. I think in a court of law, this would, uh, legally be classified as a cheesecake, so I'm not really sure how we're making this any healthier. Really just goes to show you how crazy some of these fad diets are that keto says this is healthier. I, I really don't think I can agree with that. Okay, guys, we got all our toppings now while it's baking in the oven. We got about 12 to 15 minutes. 
of preparing our toppings. Get them all cut up, get them all in bowls, so we can apply it later. First, start browning your meat, because that's gonna take a few minutes. We let it cool for 10 minutes, right? Good. Now we're gonna top it like a pizza. It's all firm. First thing we need is pizza sauce. The one thing scaring me more than this cheesecake pizza dough is I'm looking at these bowls of toppings, and I don't know if it's just some sort of optical illusion or something, but it's looking like there's enough in these bowls to, like, supply a local Domino's for a day. Please tell me all of these toppings are not going into this single pizza. That would, uh, not be good. We always use rails. Get our mushrooms, peppers, get our pepperoni, a little bit of sausage, then... We're going to top with our cheese. Melt the cheese, and you're done. Cheese is melted, a little golden brown. We're going to let it rest. And then we'll cut into it. Guys, um, I don't, I don't claim to be a master chef. I really don't. Um, but I gotta be honest. I've, I've made pizzas before. I've been around those making pizzas. I've, I've seen the process been done by others. And, uh, I've never heard of letting a pizza rest. Is that something I should be doing? Never had this before. A little flimsy, but holding together good. <clears throat> Add this on the end. <clears throat> All right, well, that's pizza. Um, Jack, I, I've got to be honest with you, man. I put the cards on the table here. That might be the least convincing taste test I have ever seen from you. I mean, it's pizza. That's all you've got to say about it. The one thing you have to say about it is objectively false. You can't even you can't even back that up with opinion because no, this is not a pizza. Not it's okay. It's good. It tastes fine. It's pizza. That doesn't really make me want to try it, Jack. Not gonna lie. Well, guys, I was thinking maybe Italian tonight, but after watching this video, I think I uh, might look elsewhere. What do you guys think? Would you try? this uh, pizza flavored cheesecake. I think honestly I'll just stick to normal pizza or normal cheesecake at that. This is not something I'm going to be making anytime soon and is not something I would recommend anyone trying to lose weight to make because uh, well that's not gonna work. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.